Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and here we have the new Vosti Knives Thunderbird. Comes in a nice metal tin inside of a sleeve and pouch. Great packaging from Vosteed. And man, it looks like a Thunderbird. Like the name, it literally looks like what what uh, what its name is. Here is the little card so you can, if it'll focus, come on. Um, so you can see all the stuff. S35VN, 3.48 inch blade length. Um, it is a Tonto with a dual grind. We have a flat grind up here and a hollow right here. A little bit of a shallower hollow, but it's still a hollow. Then we have a button lock. Now check this out. Multiple deployments, lots of deployments here. And I want to make sure you guys see this. Look at this jimping. This is perfect jimping for, back it up a little bit, for a front flipper. Look at that, they give you this nice little pad, they bring it up and all the way around exactly how it should be. I wish more companies would do front flippers like that. It makes it even so you can do this little reach around very easily because you know you have to jimping all the way around. Nice and comfortable. Um, flipper tab, also good leverage point, great jimping, super snappy, it has a cool sound too. Then you have the hole for the reverse flick or thumb flick, and both of them work great. You can easily slow roll it too. Then you have the fuller for a reverse flick off the fuller. Lots of deployments here. Um, now we have a copper backspacer. Deep carry wire clip that is a reversible. And this multicolored G10 that almost looks like like a worm path or something. It's pretty cool. The texturing on the button is nice and grippy as well. You got to appreciate, you know, when they put jimping or gripping in the right area with the right kind. And this is a great example of that. This is a really grippy button. And, oh yeah, and you can deploy it by the button. I forgot to say that. Now. The drop on it, obviously, it's on ceramic caged bearings, so it just it's a straight guillotine. It just drops. Detent. Good. Solid detent. Um Ooh, I hit my finger. I'm trying to just break it. Yeah, good detent. Solid. Um you can slow roll it. Oh, wait, maybe can you? Hold on. You can slow roll it, however, when you bring it all the way around and you get to this point, you, you gotta kinda push it in there. But that's not that big of a deal. You're gonna rapidly deploy it, deploy it anyways. Ergos, slim. It's slim back here, so I would say back here, it's okay, it's pretty good. I feel the clip though. Um, pretty good, I feel the clip, but, but it's not bad. I mean, I, I could totally put it to some work. Um, but you have this choil area and once you get up there now you're locked in now it's completely different it's very comfortable I still feel this a little bit but but not bad somewhat of a narrower I would call this a drop point dual ground tanto is it is a little bit of both because a lot of tantos are straight backs this is a drop point tanto so that's gonna make it possible for you to do to use the primary tip a lot of tantos the primary tip is not made to be used for like EDC and things like that. It's made to be punctur punctured into something. So in this case, it makes it to where it's kind of the best of both worlds. You could still puncture with it, but you could also use it for a utility cut. Then you have the secondary tip here. Not super pronounced, but you could use it. And if you wanted to, I want to make this clear. If you wanted to, you could easily turn this into a Japanese style Tanto by or like a uh, uh, more authentic Japanese style Tonto. I'm not saying it's exactly, I'm just saying more with the edge wise, you could round this out a little bit. It's already somewhat of a Japanese style Tonto because it's rounded right here and there's not much of a tip. And if you wanted to just make it all belly, you could just by sharpening it in one length, just in like in one swoop, just sharpen this all together instead of doing it um, sectionally. But if you want to make this more pronounced, you just do it by sections. 
like you do all tantos. Like I said, the hollow grind is not like super deep. It is more of a shallower hollow grind, but seems like it'll still pass through materials very well. Yeah, I think this is pretty cool. You know, we've seen a lot of button locks come out this year, and this is going to be a, a pretty cool addition. S35VN, um, I like S35. S35 is a great steel. It's tough, holds a good edge, great stainless steel. I say uh, 600 grit is what 600 is, excuse me, 600 grit is what S35VN likes, in my opinion, as far as what type of edge to put on it. Now, with this exact knife, I personally would probably do 17 degrees per side. And the reason why is because I would do 17 degrees all the way up and around. And this is going to be a little bit thinner right here. I'll measure the thickness behind the edge here in one second. But just like off of my finger test, you know, this is going to be a smaller bevel here. But then when you get to this flat grind area, it's a little bit thicker. So the bevel is going to get bigger right here. If I went to 15 degrees per side, this tip area might be a little bit bigger than I might want for you know, to start off with, but maybe not, you know, I'd find out after sharpening, but right off the bat, I would do 17 degrees per side on both um, edges or on both grinds at 600 grit, 600 grit. As long as you're doing the right angle, 600 grit, in my opinion, is the best grit you can go to with S35 yen. It holds the best amount of bite. It takes the best amount of bite. It's like, that's where that, that area is where it has the most amount of bite and it holds it for a very long time. So let's measure the thickness behind the edge. So we have... About 17,000, six, oh, slipped off. 16, 17 thousandths right at, but that's like right at the edge. If you move up at all, it goes up to 20 pretty quickly. So yeah, I would say, you know, it's 17 thousandths right at the edge. Um, up here in the flat area, a little bit thicker at, right in the middle of it, it is about 23 thousandths directly in the middle right here. 23 thousandths here, 17 thousandths here, but after one sharpening, it will be 20 thousandths behind the edge right here. So like I said, it's a more of an unshallower hollow grind. It's not going to be super deep where it stays the same thickness behind the edge going up. It is going to get a little bit thicker, but the geometry is still better in this area. So passing through materials, yes, it will still cut better than if the geometry was this robust area up here. So this is going to make it a little bit tougher for you to do things, you know, with the tip, you know, and then right here, you're going to be able to slice really cleanly through things nice and um narrow it's not a, a real wide knife or anything like that so it keeps it nice and slick still the thumb flick is still you know is really good so they're equally as good between the reverse flick or the thumb flick which is cool you have a nice ramp right here you can kind of lock into yeah pretty cool uh let's look at the liners real quick and then we'll get out of here it does have liners on both sides with lots of milling, but you can see they're cut back pretty far, so it does feel pretty lightweight. If you are wanting to pre-order one of these, these will be delivered um, or being mailed out at the end of October, so like October 31st, you know, something like that. So you do not have to wait long at all if you do pre-order it to make sure you do wind up getting one. I'm not sure, you know, how fast they'll go or anything like that. If you want to wait until they drop, then you can just buy them then. Either way, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.